Um, let me let me start with immediately that one. I, I did talk to interventions that we are looking at to re, to re, to to, re, to to relieve the constraints on the network by ensuring that we do not carry a load which cannot be carried by those uh, lines. For example, if you talk to Moroni, Kisumu Moroni, Chemosit, the line is so constrained. It is designed for 80 megawatts, like I said, but as of yesterday, it was carrying 120. When an intermittence happens and the line has to carry more load, uh, it, it picked another 20 megawatts and went to 149 megawatts. When it is designed for 80, the system just gave way. So instead of waiting for the system to give way, just dimension it and make sure that you remove some of the demand. Because what happens in power, uh, it will, power will be, will be sucked by, when you switch on all your homes in the evening, the system will, however constrained the lines are, it will try to carry the power to your house. And if the uh, conductor is not built to the capacity to carry all that power, it then gives way, like when you get a drip in your house. So that, that's what happens. What we're going to do, like I, I mentioned, is to work on quick fixes, which will include, like I said, uh, putting a new bay, a new transformer uh, in Lesos, uh, looking at how do we quickly have a solution between Moroni, Chemosit, to uh, deload that link and have a quick solution that goes from Moroni to Ndiwa. How do we quickly, even as we build the long haul line between Narok and Bomet, can we have a 33 kV line to support the Bomet area, which can be built on, on a, in three months using poles, uh, concrete poles instead of the big towers. So yes, we've talked to intervention and we do appreciate the fact that uh, it is not tenable to continue having the kind of uh, national blackouts that we have. But unfortunately, like I said, when we have not done an investment for a long time, in the network these are the results of what happens and even if we fix it today you cannot you give us the money today we cannot build a network in one day it will take 20 months but in those 20 months like i said we are working with the engineering team to see the mitigation measures to be able to reduce that including uh, load shedding uh, certain pockets of the regions uh, which are demanding so much power and therefore overloading the links uh, so we are working on that. We'll have a, a fairly comprehensive uh, a solution uh, by this Thursday uh, to see how to mitigate that challenge. As regarding, um, I don't know uh, where I fumbled, but I said, well, when I started, I said, we know the problem. We do know the problem. I think the challenge, when you get a national blackout, the first thing that comes to mind, if you're in my shoes, is that uh, have we been hit? And then we get down and learn that it is an overload. Then we feel good. Because if the network had gone down completely, like I was being told uh, of what happened in South Sudan yesterday with the line, I was supposed to have a meeting with the South, South Sudan leadership today in Petroleum. And they have not come because their line was hit uh, in the last two days and they are not able to transport their product. So when it is a challenge of an overload, we are able to build the system very quickly. Uh, while excluding uh, the overloading uh, centers. And that is why uh, when it drips, when your house drips, you don't just go and switch it back on. You try and find out what the problem is. Why is it dripping? And, and therefore, yes, we understand the problem. We've got funding, particularly for the very seriously constrained uh, Kisumu, Moroni, uh, Moroni, Chemosit, Chemosit, seeds, a number got about seven feeders including Sotik all the way to Kigati and Ndiwa if we can relieve that uh, overload in Moroni then we'll be able and the way to relieve it is to build and complete the network between uh, Olkaria, Narok which has been built Narok, Bomet and Bomet Sotik all the way down has been built so we'll be working on that so we know the problem I think the beautiful thing is when you know the problem the challenge is how do we mitigate the short term uh, challenges so that we keep our country uh, the way we would all like our country Kenya to be. Uh, the next uh, that is who Right. Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chesh is there giving the nation a status update on the causes of the national power blackout that was experienced in various parts of the country last night.